another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant and Share. Smoke me a lucky strike after breakfast, sorting out the world's problems. One slow inhale to a time. Hmm, had some salty chicken for breakfast, it's pretty good. Yeah, have to get my shit together and deal with fuck faces and phone hosers. Yeah. But, it's not the subject of this rant. I was on Discord earlier and uh, one of my friends clued me in to a uh, certain going on in the Big Apple. And uh, I think this is worth a rant. Uh, I don't often read news. Uh, I, I read things that are interesting, right? And I've noticed how the world is changing. Okay, I, I've been bitching about it for seven months on the, the internet here, uh, verbally abusing the internet and whatnot, but the Big Apple, right, New York City, the pride of the industrial world, you know, you know, such wonderful things such as skyscrapers and the Statue of Liberty, you know, in New York Harbor, where a lot of our grandparents came from, our great-grandparents, our great-great-grandparents, uh, you know, they came over on ferry boats, you know, Italians and Germans and Irish and Scots and Jews and English and countless others. They all came here looking for a better life. Fast forward a hundred years, New York kind of turned into a shithole, right? But, you know, back in the day, it was fairly safe enough. Uh, just as long as you didn't go play with hookers in Times Square. That's what Uncle Blake told me. He was there. He would know. He liked hookers. What the fuck can you do? Who doesn't like hookers? But I digress. Well, when you have sex work and debauchery and sin and drunkenness and cruelty and things like that, the dope man comes around. Well, if you know anything about doing dope, you get kind of fucked off, and pretty soon you get quite the habit. Now, we here at the Eat My Shorts channel don't openly condone the use of dope. Uh, it's one of them use at your own risk, like, I'm not going to tell you no, I'm going to tell you yes, uh, I'm going to tell you be safe, okay? And just say no. That, that is the correct answer to the doping problem, although, you know, life's complicated, I get it. Man, I used to do a lot of dope. And it was fun. For a while. Uh, then things got complicated. So imagine my shock to be sitting at my desk, forking at my salty chicken, eating breakfast, and uh, homeboy drops a link for safe drug use machines. Now, there are two schools of thought on this that you should stick the doper in rehab and get get their shit together for them, right? Well, the truth is they have to do it themselves. And a safe drug use machine, while, you know, harm mitigation is a thing, right? You don't want people getting hepatitis and HIV and abscesses and things of that nature, you know, because needle drugs are pretty dirty, I know, from experience. I'm pretty fucking sure that if you have a vending machine on the street that gives out needles and crack pipes and, and things that you use to build such paraphernalia and, and the government's paying for it, there's probably a reason for it, right? You know, they want us all uh, intoxicated and on various substances because then we're on welfare and then we're easier to control that way. You know, and, and if you're going to do dope and get all screwed off, you know, that's on you, man. I'm a libertarian that way. You know, I ain't got no beef with it. Where my beef comes into it is when you start fucking around with people like me, right? You're going to catch a smoke wagon, right? Fuck around and find out. But when I got to foot the bill for shit like this out of my tax dollars, or if I did pay taxes anymore, which I don't, uh, the government fucking sucks and they don't deserve a dime from me. So that becomes a community problem, right? And and that's a pretty big fucking clue that something's rotten in Denmark, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
but yeah, uh, that, that's a strange thing that's going on. And, and big cities all over the world are doing shit like this. You know, in Switzerland, they have these uh, UV lights in bathrooms, right? So you can find a vein real easy, which, I, I mean, to be fair about it, you know, if you're going to do dope, you know, you might as well do it correctly and giving dopers the tools to handle the job. Uh, probably not a bad idea. I mean, it is a bad idea, but it isn't, you know. But yeah, man, like, uh, you know, even around here in my local area, you know, I see broken speed pipes and fucking sawn off straws and things like that around, you know. So I know there are methicons afoot, but I digress. The day I start seeing fucking needles and shit is the day I, I go on a rampage and start hitting people with a stick, because kids don't need to fucking find that shit. Uh, they don't need to see it. Uh, the average general public don't need to see it. Like, if you're going to do dope, do it in the bathroom, and then dispose of your paraphernalia accordingly. You know. But don't, don't let the world see you all fucked off that way. It's just no way to go through life. Yeah, you know, I realize somebody who's fat intoxicated and stupid is uh, probably not the voice of reason that way, but what the hell do I know? As always, if you like this edition of The Broken News and why the news is broken, sponsored uh, by Lucky Strike and Breakfast, then like the video. And if you don't like the video, I don't blame you. I don't even watch my own shit. As always, it's that time again where I have to go police up my shit and butt my cigarette out as it burns my fingers. And so I'll leave you with the uh, parting words of Crime Pays of Botany Doesn't. Have a wonderful day, go fuck yourself and bye. And uh, as always, if you don't like what I have to say or uh, anything I'm talking about, then you need my shorts.